All right, with us now, the uh, Northeast Regional's number one seed and the uh, 2018 ECAC regular season champ, Cornell University men's hockey team, uh, coach Mike Schaefer, and uh, student athletes Jared Fiegel and Brandon, uh, Brendan Smith. First, uh, coach will take a quick statement from coach, and then we'll open up for questions for the student athletes first. Coach? Yeah, we're just, uh, obviously excited to be playing at this time of year, I and mean, everybody across the country you look across and see how difficult it is to get in the NCAA's. And you know, you got your perennial teams like North Dakota and uh, Boston College, Minnesota. You look across, and it uh, shows the parity of college hockey. And we're excited for to the Northeast Regional. I think it's going to be one of the best uh, regionals in the NCAA, NCAA tournament. Uh, great teams, and we've had great years. So we're uh, we're excited to compete, and uh, uh, happy that Worcester is. Uh, Welcome to the NCAA tournament uh, for as far as a regional is concerned. It uh, sounds like the, it's going to be a great crowd tomorrow. And, and in college hockey, you need places like uh, this town to you know, continue to provide a venue that uh, the NCAA tournament can, can bring teams in locally and, and have a great support and a great, a great environment. So i uh, very pleased that uh, the regional here in Worcester is, uh, continues to, to provide college hockey with that opportunity. All right, thank you, Coach. Questions for our, our student athletes? Let's go to Joe back here. Let's get him a, a microphone, please. Yeah. Uh, this, go, this one can go for both of you, but having a goalie like uh, Matt this year, where it's, he's really been one of the best goalies in college hockey, how is that giving you confidence for your games going into him? Yeah, well, as a defenseman, it uh, really helps a lot knowing you have a stable goaltender back there. Um, he's done a done a much better job throughout the year uh, playing the puck and helping the D break the puck out as well. Um, that just helps us as a decor so much and it's one of the main reasons that uh, we had one of the lowest uh, goals against this year. Yeah, I think with uh, with Glida, like he just comes up with those big saves during the game when you need him the most. Um, and we've had that happen throughout the season. Uh, so with him, he's just played well. He continued to play well for us. Uh, he's helped us out tremendously on the back end, like Brennan said. Um, so we're looking forward to keeping that going. Other questions for the student athletes? Guys, just quick, uh, you played this team earlier in the year. Uh, you're, how different are you coming in, or how different do you expect Boston University to be, and what do you expect of this matchup? Uh, I actually wasn't um, in that game. I had an injury, but um, you know, focusing on ourselves, like we're a much better team all around defensively, offensively, um, like with a little, bit, little habit type um, plays that we're making. Uh, I just think now we're going to see a different BU team in the sense of, you know, they're, they're coming off a hot weekend for sure and they're coming off a, a win streak, but, you know, it's all on us and it's all about what we're, do what we're doing. Yeah, they've got an extremely good group of forwards. Uh, I had a FaceTime at MSG and, uh, <laughs> you know, I find joy in it, but uh, it uh, always leads to some pretty tough battles. Uh, I think that those guys are starting to click a little bit more now. Um, but, you know, I think as a team, we're, uh, we're starting to click at the right time as well. So I'm, I'm excited for tomorrow. Any other questions for the student athletes? Okay, guys, you get off easy. You're dismissed. Uh, thank you and good luck to you on Saturday. Thanks. All right, questions for Coach. We'll start with Jen right here. Hi, Mike. Jen Toland from the uh, Worcester Telegram. The guys kind of touched on it, but what can you say about the job your goalie has done for you this year? Well, I mean, he's, uh, Matt, the, this year has kind of followed his career. I mean, he, he uh, kind of a late bloomer uh, in, in prep school, beat out a kid. Then he went up to junior hockey and beat out a kid. And, um, you know, this year Hayden and him, uh, Hayden got hurt and uh, performed well. Uh, but the second half, he just, uh, you know, you at, someone asked a question. He's a different goaltender than when we played at Madison Square Gardens. And, you know, I, I was concerned going in that game as a freshman how he would handle the, the pressure. And I think that's been answered with all the accolades that he's he's received. He hasn't – he's humble. He's calm in the net. He's uh, – um, w very little wasted movement in the net, um, but it, it's his demeanor. I think that 
that is the most impressive of how humble a kid he is, and, and uh, so it, it's it, it's he's deserved it. I mean, he uh, he's played outstanding all year long. Um, I really think that he, he's he's definitely an opportunity to win the Mike Richter Award. Um, it just, uh, but yeah, he he presents that calming influence back on the blue line. And I think when you have struggling with goaltenders, you overplay things. You overplay two on ones against you. You overplay shots from the outside. You know, you maybe you you squash down too much than you should because you're worried. And that uh, he, he's given us that that steadying for force all year long. Question in the back from from Joe. Hi, Coach. Joe Pascal, Char TV3. Um, now, you guys this year scored first a lot of the games. I think only five games here you haven't scored first. How do you get your team to get focused so early in the game and ready to go? <laughs> I've never heard that stat before. Um, they're, 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 you know, I think that you look back, uh, they've been ready to go all year long. I mean, I think that what's impressive with this group of guys is that we have 10 freshmen, and they've been consistent all season. And so they haven't taken – you know, there, there's been a couple of areas of the, of the year that we, we didn't come out and play the kind of hockey we should have, which is like every other team. But for the most part, they've respected every opponent. They've come to play every night. They're ready to play every night. And, you know, it's not something that, you know, I think if you'd probably asked those guys, they'd be shocked that we've scored that many first goals in games. Um, but it, it, it's, uh, they just come ready to play and they're, and they're consistent. So, um, I mean, it's, uh, hopefully we continue the, that streak of that, but I don't think they're, they're worried about it, nor you know, as a coaching staff are we worried that uh, going into a game that we have to get the first, goalie, first goal to be successful. Any more questions for Coach? Jen, please. Just on a side note, Mitch Gillum, one of your former players, mm -hmm. plays here now for the Worcester Railers. You know, what, what do you recall? About him, and he scored a goal, I believe, in his first collegiate yeah, his, game. Yeah, his uh, his first collegiate game, he scored a goal. Um, and it kind of it, it kind of gave us a glimpse into the future of Mitch's, you know, uh, confidence in himself. I mean, he his first collegiate game, it was uh, uh, he threw it down right in traffic and and let it rip down the ice and scored. And not the most uh, not advised, but uh, that that shows the confidence that Mitch has had and. You know, Mitch is a lot like uh, Matt in the sense that he's a prep school goaltender. No one really kind of, you know, it wasn't on anybody's radar. Um, went out to the British Columbia League and really improved as a goaltender. And I think that, you know, in talking to Mitch last year when he played uh, in, in the East Coast League, he had to change his game. And uh, Jamie Russell, who's the head coach here, worked for me for four years uh, at Cornell. And, and so... It was great to see that he's made that transition into the pro game, and he's a confident kid, as is Jeff Kubiak, who's also a place here in, here in the town. Any other questions for Coach? All right, Coach, thank, thank you, you very much. Good luck to you tomorrow. Thank you.